Right, so I'm going to show you, it's going to be a quick video because I haven't got a lot of time and I'm not in the best of moods as well. Um, and it's a cedar clad door. Now, a lot of these companies are just making like a basically a gate, which is a lot of, it's not very good. Uh, so this is a solid core exterior grade fire door. If you just come around this side, Sean, you can see there, it's got a solid core to it. So what I've done, um, I know the width of my door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to re-lift the door with some cedar. So I've, I've got the size of my door. I've deducted two thicknesses of cedar, which is 36 mil. I've ripped them down to the same thickness of the door, plus a piece of cedar as well. So what will happen now is, I will glue that on there with some polyurethane glue. And then I'll glue that on there like that, at that height. We'll pin it, and then my cedar cladding will then sit in situ like that and then that will give you a beautiful cedar clad door but i'll show you the process as we go along so what i'm going to do now like i said i've ripped this down to the thickness of the door plus the thickness of the cedar plus an extra mill so i can sand it down flush um, we're going to polyurethane glue this now pin it on and we're going to pin up the edges all the way around but what a little trick you want to do is work out where your hinges are going and your lock and don't put pins where your lock and your hinges are going to go because it'll just cause you a nightmare in the, begin in the end so with that in mind i'm going to put on this polyurethane glue like it says it's a 30 minute glue so that'll give us time to get these on and then by the time we finish with them we'll be good to do the cladding as well so what we're going to do now adam's going to hold this on for me We've got stainless steel pins. Have we got stainless steel pins in here? Right, get some stainless steel pins, please. We've put stainless steel pins in because that's what you need to be using on your cedar. Because otherwise, they will corrode and stain your cedar. So there you go. We've got our stainless steel pins in our second fixed Paslo gun. 50 mil. Right, Adam. Right, hold that on. Hold it flush at the bottom. I'm not 100% sure. You know, it doesn't have to be flush, but what I want it to be it's flush there. So I'm going to use that piece of cedar. You see that now? There, you hold yours now like that, right? I'm now going to slide mine up here. Come with me. Get my mitre right. Again, not too bold about the bottom side. Don't get, see don't get glow on the cedar on them. But as long as my top is flush there. And then I'm going to pin it down at the end. Up the middle and at this end as well. Like I said, what you want to do is make sure that you don't pin it when your lock's going to go. So let me just quick measure now. I'll throw my lock in there. So I won't put any pins there because when we come to drill it out, uh, the pins will be in the way, obviously. And I'll knock you a little bit. So that's, that's that edging done. What I'm going to do now is get Adam around there as well, to there. <coughs> I've already put these on the miter saw. Put a bit of this polyurethane glue in there on the joint. I'm going to put a bit down there as well. Get me miter good. Right, Adam's going to hold that bit there. Can't go down anymore. Right, swing, that, swing the pack out there, that's it. Right, he's going to get his good, I've got mine good. Oh. So obviously that'll come back out, that's not an issue. What we'll do now is, if Sean goes around there, we'll now polyurethane glue this side as well. the mitre as well again uh hinges so this this is going to be the hinge side this you want to go down there adam there's your block um right so what i'll do is i'll get mine right there adam will hold his right what i'll do now i'll just quickly mark where my hinges are going i've got parliament hinges going on this i'll explain them a little bit later so there'll be one there one there uh, we'll throw one on there. I'm not fussed for your six and your seven up and down and all that. I know you're supposed to, but uh, we're going for a bit of speed on this. So if you put a spacer in there, Adam. Again, I'll drop that in there like that, so that's right. I won't put anywhere my hinges are. 
Bottom's nice and flush there. And you can see, I've left them hanging over at bonks. My door's too long anyway, so I'm just going to say to sort the lot off when I put my cladding on. So what's going to happen now, we'll clear all this crap out of here. I'll work out my board widths. Uh, like such and the workouts. I don't want a little sliver in there, I'd like it to be parallel so I'll work them out. And basically what we'll do, we'll cut the cedar, we'll drop it in, we'll glue it, and we'll glue it and secret pin it, and that will be your cedar clad door, run all the way across there. A thing of beauty. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to glue the back of these as well as pin them. I've cut this one down, I've put a little chamfer on it as well, and I've secret pinned it. So what I'm going to do now is just glue this. Try to keep my fingers off this glue. I'll talk up because the saw's going in the background there. Just push that home. Again. Secret nail in it. I'm using 50mm stainless steel pins, which at an angle. They won't come out the back of the door. It's um, it's time consuming. There's quite a bit of money in it, but the after, the finish effect is it's, it's really nice. It's stunning. It just makes the job. Okay, then keeps things off the glue. Like I say, I've left it too long because my door's too long anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just get the circle saw out and rip the bottom off the door so it's the right height. Losing this Coslow second thing. Um, we normally use an air nailer, but we try to move away from that because the hose is becoming a pain. Just take any furs off there that Sean's left on when he's cut. This isn't normally the polyurethane glue I use, it's stuck coming out that great. Um, normally it was a different brand, but I've left it into the van. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it rolling, finish this door, I'll talk you through it, and then hopefully that's a real time video for you, for how long it should take to do this kind of seat flat door. Um, it, it, Finished thickness will be what it will be 62 mil, which is big, sturdy, solid, good security on it. Um, some of you have said that the sound's not very good on the videos. I've, we're just waiting on a wireless sound mic to come and work with the I, iPhone, so that's coming soon. Um, if you've been watching my videos and you'll have seen that I've got a, a garden pod. Sean, cut me off a little, a little block to tap this in. A garden pod that I've got in my garden that I'm going to raffle off. Well, I've had a little think about it. The money's spent now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to actually raffle it away. Sorry, I thought I'm Raffle it, give money to charity. Uh, so that's going to come soon, if you're going to keep watching that. I'm going to get my door and window manufacturers to supply me my door and window what's missing off it. Kind of thing would normally be made in a workshop, but we don't have that luxury here, so I'm just gonna hand blast it out. Hand blast. Sounds rude, doesn't it? Um, what else have I got to say? A uh, few people have messaged me about a franchise. I've had about six inquiries now. It's something I'm definitely thinking about. So if you're interested in buying a franchise off me, I'm having absolutely loads and loads of inquiries for these garden drums all around the country which obviously I can't cover because we are from Leeds and at some point or other I'm going to have a heart attack and die because I'm obviously not taking a f***ing breath um, Downside to these pass loads, they don't stop firing even if there's no nails in them which is a bit of a, in my opinion, a bit of a design flaw you can see it's starting to come together now. Um, this door like this, I don't know, the time you've put your materials in it and your labour is probably five, six, seven hundred pounds. 
seen is a lot, as you know, you can't get hold of it anywhere in the country at the moment, it's real difficult to get hold of. Um, what I'm going to do is, see, I don't know why these are tight, some are, some are. But what I'll do, Sean, I don't know if you've cut me enough there, you know. Two don't look, two don't look enough. I'll use a little off cut I've got there just to tap it on. I'm rushing, I've got to go fix some steel up for another job. Um, with it being Friday, everything shuts early and we're working all weekend. I definitely rate this Paz log. I used to buy second hand ones and I always find that they were crap and that's why I never bought a new one, but you know, obviously they were crap so I'll buy a second hand one. New ones work a treat, so. If you're from Pazlod and you're watching this and you'd like me to sponsor me or send me anything free, you'd better find my details somewhere on the internet and I'd be only too willing to accept off you. Uh, look, some, some go in real easy, some don't. You just want pushing on. Make sure there's no knots in them, Sean. I want them all nice and yeah? So what I'll be left with in a minute. What we're left with in a minute is a rip which will be practically the same size as that. Um, we're going to try and avoid this getting uh, this polyurethane glue on front of the cedar. I mean, we're going to sand it all down anyway, but it's a bit of a ball leg. Uh, if I have done my mask right, although we did have a little, little discrepancy, didn't we, Adam? <laughs> oh, measuring when we put door down to size. So what I'm going to do now, get that, that one in there like so. And what I'm going to do now is Measure that gap, I'm going to rip this board down till it fits in and then what we'll probably do is actually turn the door around out there and slide it up so it goes all the way up because it might be just a little bit tricky to get in. So I'll just pause it now because we're going to rip it down and sand it and then we'll move this back piece up. down now, put a little bevel on that side as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of glue there, not much, I'll tell you why, because it's going to push it up. Um, so I'm going to force it in like so. There you go, and once I get past that bit of glue, this is either going to work really bad for me, or you're all going to think that's amazing. Or it's going to pop the lipid off. <coughs> Alright, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tap it because it doesn't want to play ball. Another hammer. Okay, a bit more. Oh, let me knock the end off. Hello, a bit more. Right, I'm going to send it with right, the Whoa, 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 but nice and slow now. How much? Uh, literally about another half an inch. Keep going. All right, steady on. Nice and steady, nice and steady. Keep going. A bit more. One more. In. There you go, took a bit of persuasion, but that is it in. Obviously, it's ridiculously tight. Could have made my life a lot easier and not made it so tight, but like I say, rushing this a little bit. So, what I'm going to do now, put a couple of pins through just into the cedar just to stop it wanting to lift up. What I'll do now is I'm going to nip off and get this steel. When I come back, I'm going to move the sand over, but there you go. There's your door, cedar clad. I'll whip that off there. Beautiful, thank you. This door, I've sanded it. Um, it's all glued and pinned. We've used polyurethane glue. We've used stainless steel pins. They're all concealed. 
So it's a beautiful cedar clad door, we've lipped and edged it as well. If you have a look here, it was a solid door, solid car door. There's our cedar bonded to it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these parliament hinges on. Um, not for the use that they're actually for, just because of the depth, it's the only ones I can get. A normal hinge will finish there, and your screw will end up going through there and splitting that. So we don't want that. So this is the parliament hinge, so I'll drop that on there. And our screw line will be there into the door and there as well. Um, so we'll use them big hinges and we're going to put four of them on it as well because it's, it's quite heavy now that we've um, planned it up. It's not overly heavy, but it's heavy enough, but it's big, nice, solid door. Quality door, that's what we do, we do quality stuff. There you go, thank you.